safely transfer your captured insect from a net into a jar or plastic bag, you can use these tips or tricks. Grab the net behind the insect that you want to collect and give it a light twist, like this. This will stop the insect from coming out the back of the net and allow you to trap it. Also, don't be afraid if the insect inside your net can sting. When you twist the fabric, the insect can't bite or sting through these multiple layers. So you don't need to be afraid of that. Next, you can just simply transfer the insect using an inside out method. Simply press your open bag to the jar. So you go inside, I'm inverting it, and then I'm just going to push the mesh fabric inside the jar. Press the open areas of the jar to the net and invert it and knock the insect inside. And because I inverted the net, you can't get out. So the net is serving as a lid to the jar right now. And so now I just need to add the actual lid. And you can put that over the net if you want to. And then slide the net out. But be careful not to squish your insect. That's one method. So this is called the inside out. And you just invert your net and push the open sides of the net to the open sides of the jar until the insect falls in. Now, the second method of transferring insect is called the sunlight method. And right now you can see that I've collected a honeybee from the field behind me. And now I'm gonna show you how to safely transfer a bee from a net into a jar. Um, and so again, the sunlight method is a lot easier for stinging insects to avoid being stung. So what you do, it's really simple. These bees and wasps want to fly away. So if you take the top of your net and hold it up to the sun, you can see the honeybee is crawling up the net to the top. And I can move my hand and slide it up and bunch it underneath the honeybee. So he's trapped, well she really, <laughs> she's trapped um, at the top here. And as you can see, I've bunched the fabric together so I won't get stung. Um, and it's really safe to hold a honeybee like this. Uh, it's not aggressive. She wants to get out, but she's trapped in this little tiny circle of mesh. So next, what I'm going to do is take the jar and put it inside of the net till it's right about to the edge of where I've bunched the fabric together. And now I'm going to take my hand out of the net because I don't want to get stung and I'll bunch the fabric underneath the jar. And then I'll open the first bunch of fabric and slide the jar up until the honeybee has fallen into the jar. And so we can see that inside of this jar is the honeybee and the fabric is pulled tight across the lip of the jar so that the honeybee can't escape. And now what I'm going to do is slide the lid back into the jar. And I'm not going to take away this tight seal. I'm going to take the lid and place it on top of the jar, but not remove that fabric. And so now I'm holding the top of the jar and the bottom of the jar, and there's some fabric in between the lid and the jar. And now I invert it. And because of the sunlight, the bee moves up, and I can slide this lid out again and put it underneath without the bee falling down because it wants to escape and move up. And so now it's still trying to move up towards the sunlight, and we have a bee inside of a jar.